Welcome to the ninth episode of Android Beginner Tutorial. This video will help you to learn how to create an Android application to add two numbers. Before starting our tutorial, I would like to tell you please subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications. So let's start our video. First, open Android Studio and click on Start a new Android Studio project. Select Empty Activity and click on Next. I am giving application name as Edition. Then click on Finish. Now a new project is created. I am coding in Java in this entire project. First, let's do some design in the XML part. I would like to change the color of toolbar and notification bar. For that, I am changing color primary, which is set as toolbar color in the app pane, and changing color primary dark, which will be the notification bar color. I am giving a light and dark shade of green. Now let's delete the default text Hello World. On click of the eye icon in the design side, you will get some settings. When you check on show layout decorations, you can see the toolbar and notification bar. Now change this constraint layout to relative layout. Now create one relative layout inside that so that we can add all the views inside that and can bring this layout to the center. I am giving its width as match parent and height wrap content. Now we need to drag the views. Here we will be using two edit text to get two numbers to add from the user and a button so that on click of the button these two numbers will get added and a text view to show the result to the user. So I am dragging one edit text or we can see a plain text to the layout and giving its id as etnum1 and deleting its text and giving its hint as end of first number. Now drag the next edit text and I am giving its id as etnum2, removing its default text and giving hint as end of second number. As I have to align these views one below the other, I am giving attribute layout below for the second edit text and giving id etnum1 so that second edit text will lie below first edit text. Now I am dragging a button giving id as btn add, changing text to add, giving text appearance as large, giving background color for button as color primary and text color as white. Text style as bold and giving layout below et num2 so that this button will lie below second edit text. I am putting all these views inside the relative layout. Now I need to bring this layout to the center. For that in the relative layout, I am giving android colon layout center in parent equal to. Now all the views is in the center. To make this view more beautiful, I will bring this edit text and button to the center of the screen. For that, I am giving android colon layout underscore center horizontal equals true. I am giving this in all views separately. To make a gap between two edit texts, I am giving android colon padding top equals 20 dp. And between edit text and button, 
I'm giving Android colon layout margin top equals 30 dp. For button, it's better to use layout margin top than padding top. Now I need to create a view like result colon then the sum of two numbers in a line. For that, I am creating a linear layout giving its orientation as horizontal. I am dragging a text view giving an ID as text view, changing its text to result call, giving text appearance as large. Then drag another text view where the sum will be displayed, giving ID as TV result, text as 00. zero. I'm copying these two text views and paste it in the linear layout. Now give Android colon layout below X plus ID bar BTN add. Make a gap between button and these text views. For that, giving padding top. Now I'm running this app to see whether the design is perfect. The text size is small for the result, so setting it to large. And for the whole layout, giving a padding 20 dp so that it does not touch the screen border. Now design is completed. Let's start the Java coding. For that, create edit text m edit num1, m edit num2. You can give these names in the way you like. Text view and text result. Button M BTN add. In on create, map these objects to its view ID. M edit num1 equals edit text enclosed in a bracket. Find view by ID and then bracket r dot id dot et num1 and a semicolon and create the same for m edit num2 m text result and m btn add now i'm calling a method to perform addition of two numbers and display it as the result on click of a button method name is on add to create that method Click on the red bulb in the left and select create method on add in main activity. In that method, type mbtn add dot set on click listener in bracket new view dot on click listener. When you select that, Android Studio will override on click. Inside that, I am creating an integer variable and then I will set its value as the input from first edit text. As the value we get from edit text is a string, we need to parse it to integer. So this code will help you. Integer dot parse in in bracket m edit num1 dot get text dot to string. And also for the second number int num2 equals integer dot parse end in bracket m edit num2 dot get text dot to string and a semicolon. Then add these two numbers and store it in another integer variable result. So int result equals num1 plus num2. Now we need to display this value by setting it to the text view. For that, m text result dot set text in bracket integer dot to string in bracket result semicolon. Here, integer dot to string result is to change integer value to string. Now, run this application. I'm giving two numbers. 4 and 5 and on click of add button result is showing as 9. Here you can see the keyboard is showing alphabets. 
we can change it to display numbers only so that it will be more helpful for users. For that, select first edit text and change input type to number. Also, repeat the same for second edit text. Then, when you run your application, you can see the difference. So, this was today's video. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please feel free to comment below. And if this tutorial was helpful for you, please subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends who are interested in mobile app development. We'll come up with the next video. Thanks for watching.